some of the best cooks get really intimidated when they think about roasting a whole fish, especially a very large whole fish. But if you think about it, it's no harder than roasting a chicken. It's actually one of the easiest entrees that you can make for a dinner party, and it's one of the most impressive. Chances are your local fishmonger isn't going to have a four to six pound whole fish lying around. It's something that they're gonna to have to look for just for you. So I'm gonna to go to my favorite fishmonger in Brooklyn and I'm going to get a fish that I know was caught this morning. Hello, how are hey, you, John? Hey, Melissa, how are you? I'm good, do you have my fish? I have a beautiful four pound black sea bass out of Long Island. Absolutely gorgeous, I think you're gonna love it. Oh, nice. Look at that fish, isn't that a beauty? He's a handsome guy. So is that, is that, that's not endangered, is it? No, that's not an issue at all with black sea bass. There's plenty of them going around? Yes, absolutely. Okay, cool, and he's cleaned and? I'm gonna take care of that for you now. Awesome, thank you. So just giving him a rinse. This looks good. You just wanna check for scales. Aha, uh -huh. one little guy. So you'll probably notice that I didn't oil the pan, and that was intentional. I want the fish to actually stick to the pan when it cooks. That's because unless fish skin is super crispy, maybe it's deep fried or it's been broiled, I actually don't want to eat it. But I do have to oil the fish, especially the top of the fish. Just drizzle it on. Hello, fishy. And then just a little bit in the cavity. Salt and pepper. You actually don't need as much salt for fish as you do for meat. He comes from a salty place. Just gonna add the lemons. Let's just make sure that you've got enough lemon to kind of touch every little bit of the surface of the cavity. And then I've got mixed herbs. I have sage, thyme, rosemary. And seriously, this is all you need to do. The fish is ready for the oven. I don't need to do another thing. So I'm just gonna stick them in at 400. It should take mm, 35 to 45 minutes to cook. So I've got my wild mushrooms here, and you don't want them crowded, because mushrooms have so much moisture in them that if they're all stacked up together, they're gonna steam, and I wanna get them really crispy, so. And then I'm just gonna drizzle them with some olive oil. Actually, you have to use a lot of olive oil, not really a little olive oil, because you wanna get it crispy, and the oil helps that. Salt, pepper. So these mushrooms are gonna go into a super hot oven as soon as the fish comes out, and then they're gonna cook really quickly in about five minutes or so. Looks good. So the first thing you wanna do is just peek inside the cavity. And you're just looking for the fork to go into the flesh very evenly, very easily. Flaking means the fish is overdone. And then you wanna also check the backbone. You want the fish flesh to be able to come away from the backbone. That's perfect. Now that the mushrooms are done, that's it. I just have to serve it. So here's the thing, you think, okay, I just roasted a whole fish, it's perfect, it's beautiful, I'm done. But actually serving it is probably harder than even cooking it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Don't worry if it's not perfect, because I guarantee you mine will not be perfect. First thing though is you wanna take off the skin. And then now I'm gonna season this meat a little bit more. I'm just gonna add some lemon juice, olive oil. Break out your good olive oil for this. It's thyme, just because it's pretty. And then a little bit of good flaky sea salt. I feel like I'm a surgeon. I feel like I'm like, which tool should I use for the fish? I feel like I have more control with the spoon. This is not going to be the most perfectly served, beautiful filet, but look how perfectly it's cooked. It just looks so good. Then a little bit of mushroom right on the top. A little sea salt on top. This is where you yell, come and get it, because you don't want this to sit. You want people to just take it as it is served. All roasted fish, it's just not as hard as you thought it was gonna be.